Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Folks, early morning again. God hasn't turned the lights on, but we're already praising Him. We're talking about it. But if you want to do something extraordinary with your life starting today, stop asking yourself what the least you need to do is. And start asking yourself, what's the most you can bear in life? Humans are capable of truly unbelievable things. But the reality is, the way that we get better is by going through a simple process called adaptation. But what triggers the adaptation is stressors. It's doing things that are difficult. It's pushing yourself into a state of adapt or die. The body wants to conserve energy, so unless you put yourself in a state where the body uh, absolutely feels like uh, to survive, it must adapt. You are never going to change, and, and that's why only the most elite people end up achieving at the highest level, because they take the time to shape themselves. They put the energy into getting better. They are willing to suffer. They uh, are, are willing to push through and preserve but uh, up until you're willing to do that until you're willing to stop asking yourself what you can get away with and start asking yourself how far can I go just how much can, am I capable of and when your fascination becomes that when you start wondering just how much am I capable of and every level that you achieve excites you to push harder and harder and go further and further and do more and more and bear more weight. Then, all of a sudden, you really begin to surpass other people. You leave them behind, but it takes that. It takes a total shift of your mindset. You've got to be obsessed with just how far you can go. You have to be obsessed with finding your breaking point and then pushing beyond that breaking point to go that extra mile. That is how you really begin to take advantage of uh, the adaptation uh, process. That's how you begin to improve. That's how you begin to build your body and build your mind is to push beyond your comfort zone. That is how you get to be great. At the end of the day, nobody sat their way to greatness. They tried over and over. Nobody sat back and relaxed and became extraordinary by sitting around. The only people who really achieve, the only way that humans are able to do the extraordinary things that we're able to do is by going to that breaking point and beyond that. <laughs> but you have to find something in there that you want badly enough. There's no way to just do it. You've got to find something in you that you believe is so much that you're willing to uh, push yourself that hard. So you've got to construct a story about not only who you are, but what you can become. And when that narrative is so compelling that it pushes you forward, then you will have the kind of change that you want in your life. But first, my friends, you have to believe that you can do uh, that and achieve that. You've got to put yourself out there. You've got to grind and you've got to work, but you, to, do the, uh, to do that, to work that hard, you, uh, to make those kinds of changes, you've got to be willing to test yourself and your limits. <laughs> you've got to be willing to look inside yourself and find out who you really are. You've got to be willing to stare nakedly at your inadequacies and be willing to push through them. You you can't pretend. You've got to really look at your result and see, <coughs> thank you, making the progress that you want to make. And that's where a lot of people fail. They lie to themselves. They want to get away with something. They want to see anybody's looking, but the reality is the only thing that matters in this life, what do you think about yourself when you're by yourself? Think about that. There's no campaigning. 
There's no convincing anyone else. There's only the credibility that you've either earned with yourself or not. And that hard truth is self-worth comes from doing something worthy. It comes from the hard things. It comes from the suffering. It comes from the uh, 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 persevering. When things get difficult to know that you want to stay that course even when everything else is trying to knock you off. So build that thing. Build the thing in your life. Build that belief. Know that you can do it this morning and be willing to go through hell to get to the other side. To get to the person that you were really meant to be, that God has created you to be, that masterpiece that you are. It won't be easy, but it sure will be possible, and you have to put your time and effort into that. Call me at 844 Help together. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourself. Always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to anyone can make their day and can make your day. God has given you everything you need to be the best at what you are. It is up to you to set your goals. It is up to you to achieve those goals. And it is up to you to admit to yourself that you can do it and ask God for guidance and direction. May God bless you.